just the way it is. So you never even get to hear me sing that because <laughs> it's so many seconds. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Some things <that> never change. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Because <laughs> <laughs> several seconds in, we know nobody's here. Actually, it says four. <laughs> <laughs> I already heard our duet. <laughs> Usually people don't. Um, I don't think. I don't believe it. I don't think anybody's here. Right. Four would be too many for 10 seconds in. <laughs> yeah. So we can sing some more. <laughs> <laughs> I know Karen must be missing that karaoke. I miss it. <laughs> I don't even, I'm going. I don't even know when I'm going. Mm-hmm. What's today? Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm going tomorrow night. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Because my kids will be at their dad's. For wedding this day? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go Wednesday and Thursday night. And I think they're there the weekend. I'll just go the whole way. I'll just go. Like, <laughs> Let's go every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I get worried about the COVID. Hey, Bishop Takes. Hey, Bishop Takes. How's, How's it going? going? Did you hear us singing or did you get here after we sang? There wasn't much singing. <laughs> it was for maybe four or five seconds. Four, yeah. The beginning of a song that we don't like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Raj. Speed. How's it going? I want to get one of those fancy intro videos. Of you singing? <laughs> <laughs> so that, like, people don't miss even one uh, moment. moment of our important conversation. <laughs> hey, Thaddeus. Kangaroo. kangaroo. Yogesh. Yep. Yogesh. Old Yogesh. Yogesh. Now, you're not a regular here, or maybe you're, you lurk. <laughs> oh, record the karaoke? <laughs> Yay, thank you for that sub, GM Benjamin Feingold. For 20 months. <laughs> I don't know. The, the recording at the main place that I go for karaoke, I mean, the sound system's so bad there. You're from YouTube? Well, oh, yay. Cool. I'm glad that you came on over to the other side, the dark side. Oh, Dr. Christmas Easy. Yay. Hey, Dr. Christmas Easy. It's almost your time of the year, too. Yeah. Much is. Yeah, kangaroo, you were almost first. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe we should. Um, today we're we're a little pressed for time for a couple of reasons, and so we're gonna get started in a second. Oh, the, oh, the lighting is so good? good. Oh, well, awesome. good. <laughs> um, oh, well, I'm glad you like that, <laughs> Yogesh. I mainly stream with Spencer, sometimes by myself, and sometimes with GM Benjamin Feingold. All true. I had ambitions to stream with um, Raj's best B, BFF, Dave Vest. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but um, I couldn't get, he chickened out on me. Life Master Dave Vest, if you're out there. Calling you out. <laughs> Shots calling fired. Calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that being said, one day it might happen. Well, let's figure out what we're going to do first. Oh, I was going to tell you real quick, guys. One of the reasons we're running late is because I was setting up a new uh, scene for Ben. He's going to be giving a lesson to David Packman on his stream tonight. So tune in to Ben's stream tonight, 8 to 11. Also, the Packman lesson will be closer towards the 9 o'clock hour. Uh, hey, Lords of Acid. How's it going, Lords of Acid? <laughs> Um, how can I talk crap in the chat? <laughs> He's on the stream. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to have to time you out, Raj. <laughs> um, but Bishop Tate says, I won't quit until I get a Santa stream. <laughs> well, now I got to think about that for a minute. All right, does Santa Claus stream? I don't or are we going to be dressed up as Santa? Like, <laughs> are we both Santa? Oh. Um, hey, Bowler. Hey, Bowler. Hey, Joa. Hey, Impish Look. So what did you want to do for the stream then? Because it's a little shorter stream. Um, <clears throat> So I think that, you know, with the interruptions, et cetera, I mean, you should still be able to be here for an hour, maybe like an hour and five even. Um, you start with Joe right at 530, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and she doesn't seem to mind waiting, so I think that's fine. So we'll just, why don't I do just maybe one warm-up game? All right. And then we'll go straight to the lesson, <laughs> 420 stream. <laughs> then um, 
I can play more games at the end because Spencer has actually a lesson here at the chess club in about an hour and ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's the constraint here. Everything got shoved out a little bit because I was working with Pacman on getting the layout set up for tonight. Um, now Raj says, would the idea of Dave being on that he should be showing you stuff? Yeah, it would be similar to when Spencer's on. Um, we'd have, you know, just the intro stuff and a little He won't be yelling pre-move as much. <laughs> right. He'll be yelling other things, so right. he, he likes yeah. to yell at me too. <laughs> Yeah, Dave loves to yell at me. Oh, it's Indo and Scottish Demon Girl. Hey, Indo. Hey, Scottish. Oh, you asked Ben to do a Santa stream. <laughs> yeah, ben, Ben's here, and he can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, ben likes to do kind of this, you know, he he has to um, be persuaded to break out of his normal mold. Um. Hey, Endo. Yeah, we're just about to do a, a game and then a lesson. And then I was telling chat that tonight Ben has given David Pacman a lesson on his stream about 845 or so. Um, yeah, Pacman seems real nice. Um, I just chatted with him for the first time while we were working on the scene. But I do watch his stream a bit. And obviously he and I are aligned politically. So I do enjoy his stream. Is Ben jolly enough to be Santa? <laughs> Hmm. You know, that ben, is a good question. It, it really depends. Ben, ben can be jolly. Spencer didn't shave evenly. Rude. <laughs> Rude and false. <laughs> well, he's just trying to roast you back for all the roastings you do. I don't see that it's uneven, I have to admit. Well, now, you did complain you took more off than you wanted. That's but it true. looks even. Um, yeah, Ben's training David Pacman tonight. Would it be possible to donate to get Ben to play Title Tuesday, or is that, <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question? I guess it depends how much uh, how much don't you donate and how much nap time will be lost. There has to be like a correlation there. You know, everything. <laughs> I mean, everybody has a price. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'll stay up for three days straight if you pay me enough money. You know? <laughs> Let me answer on his behalf. Certainly a, don a donation, <laughs> you know, could get him there. He, he, he doesn't like to play as much. I, and today I was all geared up to watch it while I was working on the layout. Canceled. And, and uh, the server went down. I was trying to play mm -hmm. chess. I'm like, what's going on here? And then um, uh, Canty. <laughs> Canty Cat. GM Canty was a uh, uh, chess commentator, and he said, oh, I'm sure this is <laughs> – I'm sure this is just a small issue, and I typed in the chat, GM, GM Canty obviously knew here. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. And then he read it, and he started laughing. <laughs> that is funny. No, and then the servers were down, and that was it. That was the end of it. <laughs> My chin hairs aren't longer. They're just, like, there's more of them. What? They're just more condensed. Your chin hair seems stronger. Yeah. Oh, I thought he meant, said longer. Oh, I, so I read it as longer. Well, they're less thick. I mean, he thinned it on out. Yeah. yeah. But no, it, it's thicker than the, my cheeks. It's thicker than the cheek part. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not good That's with beards. <laughs> oh, you'll text me, Kangaroo? Yeah, text me on up about that. Oh, I'd love it if Ben would play. I mean, he gets in the mood every once in a while to play Title Tuesday. He's not here. He's not answering, so he must not be on the stream right this second. Anyway, let's get going. Yeah. I like to chat with you guys. Let's see what kangaroo's got. We're on a schedule here. <laughs> Probably, uh, oh, I thought, does he normally play E4? And the um, Pac-Man setup stressed me out, too, because Endo, if you're still there, remember the setting that Jigs found? Save yeah, the day, our hero, etc. if you're still there? Well... I guess maybe each computer saves the different Zoom settings. So the setting that we changed to get our co-stream to work wasn't on the Zoom itself. We have a Zoom account. So when I went to set up on Ben's computer for the Pac-Man stream, I wasn't able to capture David. But luckily, I found it. Oh, you don't like me to do that. I 
capable or not a fan of the French exchange. Yeah. I can certainly understand that. It is pretty dull. Not as dull as dishwater. But pretty dull. But when you uh, do the dishes as infrequently as I do, dishwater becomes much more exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like, whoa, what's all this stuff in here? How's it going, Lied? Lied the Lied. We have more than 50 games? Yeah. That's a lot of games. I lost most of them. <laughs> no. Well, maybe. Yeah, I did. Uh, all right. Follow me. Uh, let's see. Good game so far. <clears throat> little stall move. Little stall. Did y'all mention there was a lesson at the club today? Yes, we did mention that. Unless you meant a lecture, in which case that's not true. That's right. And There's a lecture tomorrow. Mm -hmm. A virtual lecture that I'm teaching about weak pawns in the endgame. You can definitely sign up for that class. You'll learn a lot about the end game and weak pawns. How's it going, Jitterbug? And Bonarici's in here too. Well, Berserk fans coming in there. It's kind of hard to read that name because it's in that neon green. At least for us. <clears throat> Darn, it feels like I'm about to get back rank mated. <laughs> uh, right. Getting back rank mated is equally bad as losing on time. Mm hmm. That's true. I just didn't really calculate this correctly. I probably still didn't. Hey, it's Ken West. How's it going, Ken? Hey, Ken. Good to see you as always. Oh, it's fine, actually. <clears throat> yeah. okay. Take, take, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good six, calculation. Six. Well, not really. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for the subscription, Raj. Um, and Thaddeus for gifting a sub to Ken. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like a good old-fashioned sub, a prime sub, definitely. Let's see mm. what's going on. It's a pretty boring position. Both players play very slowly. Slow and steady. Mm-hmm. Mm. Pretty nice. Gotta say I like black here. Good knight against bad bishop. Oh, that's great, bowler. Keep up those tactics. Mr. GM Sir Ken West. That's like Mr. Dr. Professor Patrick. Classic Spongebob.
Yeah, that is a great episode, Mr. Uh, Jitterbug. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that seems bad. Hmm. It's rough, I tells you. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Darn. How uh, how speculative is that though, that. Raj? I mean, that doesn't seem too wrong. It's it's actually kind of complicated. I don't know if it was actually correct for White to do that, but. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see later. Yeah, I think I could have defended that, perhaps. Well, no, obviously not, Raj. Obviously not. That gets made it immediately. You didn't even understand the point of his... Of his, uh... Actually, I was thinking that Scottish Demon Goat, but then I could play Queen F1, King H2, Queen F2. That was the move that I was looking at, actually. I think that survives for black. He's just talking about some variations. I'm not even listening to you. That's fair. <laughs> you got more important things to worry about right now. Like the current position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you defended it nicely, though. Even after being surprised. See, that's better than the other day when you wouldn't interact properly. Yes. Big check. It was better. Check part two. The rechecking. Oh, McJurgle's in here. How's it going, McJurgle? There's a legal move for you. Now you're talking. Let's see who will take advantage of the time scramble. The snake of time. Yeah. Time snake, we call him. Go, Karen. Abandon ship. Let's see those pre moves. Come on. That's what I like to see. Why can't I do it? There you go. Beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, stalemate. God damn it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Good game, though. Really good stuff. GG. And you didn't lose on time. Yeah. Let's take mm -hmm. a look at that game. Now, in that game, your opponent hung their queen in one move and hung their rook in one move, and you missed them both. At the end there? Or before? No, way oh. before. Oh, I didn't see it. It was a good game, though, other than the hangs. <laughs> <laughs> so here, bishop d6 is the move. That's the move to play. Okay. Symmetrical. Actually, easy to remember in this case. You made my heart start pumping. At the end there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I got to... Well, I it always tell. I can't ever get it promoted properly. It won't That's ever, true. It won't do it right. 
It's an interface problem. Mm -hmm. and that's true. It's tough to promote when you're pre-moving, yes. Yeah. Okay, this move is just really weird. Like, you got to develop your knight, you know. Mm -hmm. like, what are you doing? Develop that knight, come on. This move's got nothing to do with anything, hardly. If anything, it makes this, like, worse, because this is weak now. Yeah, you got you to gotta develop your knight. Yeah, okay. That's all. <clears throat> okay, yeah, here's where he hung his queen. He moved here, and then you could take a free queen. Oh. <laughs> And then that's why he went. Now you traded. That was, that was the whole reason I put the bishop there. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> now, c5 is unnecessary in this position. Like, c5 just is going to give you an isolated queen pawn, probably. Yeah. Once like, He could take here and then take there, for example. So you don't have to. You could just do nothing, right? c6. Bishop f8, maybe. I wish your queen was there. <laughs> then you protect all the stuff. Yeah, I need to change it to auto queen McDurgle. Because mm -hmm. I so rarely don't get a queen. But then what if I don't want a queen? <laughs> all right. Here he could take this and then move his queen, which might be better for white. This was a good move. Although you were bemoaning it. Well, I thought it was a good after I complained about it. I thought, well, that's mm -hmm. fine, because if the yeah. queen moves, like, I was worried that um, if he took the knight you and then the queen Yeah, right, so yeah, it was exactly. fine. That's exactly. Fine. <clears throat> and this was good, taking the guy and then hopping in with the knight. Great. Mm -hmm. Now you have a potentially a good knight against bad bishop, because that's on a dark square. Okay, now this is an interesting moment takes um mm -hmm. yeah that's true gm benjamin Feingold. <laughs> well boner he she could stop mate after hey. that like hey, bishop h6 for example oh sorry hey Taz smith now what is he saying i don't see where boner saying here anything. takes she he wants oh. if here here queen g3 threatening mate mm. even though you could easily defend it right right yeah, yeah no problem <clears throat> Okay. So now this is a critical moment. I was analyzing this move. Mm hmm You don't seem surprised by it. Well, what about the bishop? Like I can't I can't fork. Oh, you can't fork. You're yeah. right. I thought I thought you could, but you're right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, this is what Scottish Demon Goat and I were talking about. He wanted to go here to avoid the fork that I can't do. Mm. And then I was saying here to defend mate. But yeah, you're right. Knight and bishop is guarding d2. I didn't notice that during the game. Mm. So this is probably the best defense. But Raj was saying, why can't you just take it? And it's like, what? This is mate. Yeah, bro. that wasn't good. Um, I didn't. I have point. a hard time seeing these discovered as... Well, f7 is weak. That's what you should notice. I didn't. I did notice. I just... But then There was so much else it. going on. Well, I thought I could get an attack going. Um, yeah, I didn't. That's true. Yeah. Well, either way, you're going to lose your B-pawn then if you like, go here. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have a perfect solution to this situation. Mm -hmm. Probably H6 is wrong, huh? Because rook C7 is too strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So probably you have to preemptively move your queen or play rook C8, challenge the file. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if. Good to comment there. But okay, so he took... Which is good. And then this move is good. And then that was good. Good defense, yeah. And sort of random moves. It'd be hard for me not to play that. Mm -hmm. It was just a town scramble at this point. I was trying to go fast. Then here he checked hanging his rook. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then was, the rest was... Uh, I was just desperately moving. <laughs> yeah. I think I was doing pretty Even hung his queen here, but okay, it's all pre-moves at this point. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, you're only the only reason you didn't win this... So first of all, when you got him tied down here, you want to go there and there. That's the easy way to win this mm -hmm. type of scenario. But also, you should win by not trying to win. You just make the queen and rook and don't try to win. You just make random pre-moves like you were doing. 
but which was great. You were on the track to winning mm -hmm. when you were making all this. So look at this. R great, perfect stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Then you like were like, ah, maybe I'll try to win. This is where you you, you threw it away. Yeah. Don't try to win. <laughs> That's too hard. Well, I don't have as much experience winning mm -hmm. with pre by pre moves. So I don't have as much certainly certainly confidence. But I agree, if I just kept with that, I would have won. Yeah, this is you're getting the experience. Yeah. You got it now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No time. So, yeah, I know. No time. Neither one of us anymore. No time. time. <laughs> no time. Well, we should probably start the lesson. All right. Could you get me the uh, iPad? Yeah. And Thank then you. I'll play some more people at the end. Spencer has a, um, a lesson here at the club soon, so hang on. Um, so we got to use them while we got them. Use them. Abuse them. Don't try to win. It's too hard, Spencer 2020. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I already forgot where we were, so this will be a surprise to me. Oh, I should say this, please. But I'm very, uh, I I'm excited for this book. I do like to. Yeah, I've been getting into it, it the last couple of times. And it's ninety nine percent. Yay! Outposts. Outposts. Mm -hmm. Outpost coupler. Mm -hmm. Hey, Merhoff, how's it going? Kid A or OK computer? OK computer. All right, an Dark. outpost is a square in the opponent's part of the board from which a piece cannot be driven by an enemy pawn. If an outpost can be permanently occupied, it can confer a large or even decisive advantage. Now, I would actually take a little issue with his uh, definition. Uh, to me, an outpost could even be on your own part of the board. But he made it seem like it has to be on the opponent's half of the board. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. For example, in a French, often... You put, like, because you got the pawn here, yeah. and then, like, these pawns get traded. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You know, like, a lot of times these pawns get traded, and the knight goes here. So I would call d4 an outpost for the white knight, because it just can't be kicked away by the opponent, even though it's technically in our side of the board. Yeah, I, w I mean, I always heard the definition is you're in their territory, and you, you, know, you can't be removed. But, by a pawn, yeah. But you're saying... You, you, your definition is not necessarily on either side, but just sort of that. Can't be attacked by a pawn. Right? Yeah, by a pawn. Yeah, huh? Interesting. I don't know. And also, I mean, <laughs> it sort of it sort of depends. It, it's a little bit of like, uh, it's it's a little gray area because, for example, you know, knight on d4 is uh, pretty intrusive mm -hmm, to Black's yeah. camp, but yeah, like yeah. you wouldn't say like a knight here is on an outpost because the opponent can't attack it. True. You know, like I. Hmm. Yeah. So, it, you know, a little bit of a gray area. But anyways. Well, there has to be an official definition. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. The Benz is pretty good. I actually sang that, the, the song, The Benz, um, from the album, obviously, uh, in at karaoke. More than once. Hmm, I didn't remember that. I don't think that you were ever there for it. Oh. <clears throat> But I have sang that song twice at least, mm -hmm. maybe even more. Right, how does it go? My baby's got the bends. I know. She doesn't have any real friends. And so on. In that fashion. Hmm. Fake plastic tree season. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And a great song also. <laughs> All right, let's see, make sure this is right. This is Leiko Navara. Black to play. Oh, that's cool. You saw Radiohead when um, in a smaller venue. That's always nice to see the bands before they take off. Yeah, Radiohead is great. You wish it was the 60s and you wish we could be happy? Yes. <clears throat> I'm Same happy. Same lyric from the, the <laughs> bands. Yeah. Oh, is that from the bands? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish that something would happen. All right, so here we go. Black to play. This is from Dresden, 2008. Okay, Olympia. black to play. I'm not going to look at chat for a minute. Cause I'm it's so not a slow. puzzle. Oh, that's right. We're doing a lesson. Yeah. So I can look at chat. <laughs> yeah, I would encourage it because I probably won't. <laughs> All right, so we're doing outpost, and there are usually two examples. Yeah. This Navarro, like, okay. This position arose from a closed Rui Lopez, but it looks like an unfavorable King's Indian. <clears throat> what has already opened up lines on the queen side, 
while black's kingside counterplay is not yet started. Potential outpost on c6 is important, since it could be occupied by this maneuver. All right, so Navarro plays f5. Although this is essential if black is to create active play, it has a side effect of potentially weakening the e6 square, a common problem for black and a king's Indian. At the moment, white is not in position to exploit this, but it is something that both players will have to bear in mind. That's a long-term problem. Knight c4, dubious. Rook b1 is more accurate. It's important to be the first to occupy the open file. But he played knight c4. Fe. It's a symbol for iron, by the way, Fe, right? Mm-hmm. Bishop it. takes. <laughs> Rook a7, dubious. Now black's difficulties increase. He should try bishop f5 or rook b8. Try to get that open file. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Based on our last section. Yeah. <laughs> or two sections ago. Just reading. Doctor, uh, okay. Oh, they're just talking about music. Yeah. Iron t Tigran. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, we're becoming creatures of habit after too much nun lectures. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Let's just keep going. <laughs> if I say, I'm going to ignore only some of what you're saying. Enjoy yourself. So talk about whatever you want. But I may not read everything because we, we're low on time today. Knight f5 is met by bishop f4 and queen d3. Threatening rook b6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would put some serious pressure here. Mm -hmm. That was like a good move. An example of a rook outpost on b6 there, and could even be supported with the pawn. So, okay, well, that's a question I have right now about outposts. All right. So, I thought outposts, and I could be wrong here, were um, always supported by a pawn. Because it seems, because mm -hmm. you wouldn't really want to tie down like a knight. But you were calling that an outpost. Maybe that's right. I just never. That's what he said. Oh, that's what he said. I yeah. never thought of that. What is your thought? Yeah, I would say that is this outpost? is an outpost. Okay. Yeah. But I it mean, would be it's more outpost, solid if the pawn was that's already what I mean. there. Yeah. yeah I mean, I can see that it's an outpost, but it doesn't seem. It's not so difficult to, to be... put it there, I would say. True. Okay. Unless he goes here, but then the pawn is a target itself. So mm -hmm. you might not want to do that. And anyways, b5 is an outpost then. That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so actually, he continues this variation. Rook c7, which prevents rook b6, because then rook takes c4 wins. Oh, Bone Richard says, no, it's not an outpost until it's supported by a pawn. I, didn't, yeah. I don't remember the exact I don't know. Name. You shouldn't be so strict with the definition, I think. I like to know the terms. Because... I do. It, the... But it's sort if of they're fluid, fuzzy, yeah, yeah. If they're fuzzy, then that's fluid, fine. Yeah. But I do like to know the terms. Yeah. But knight a5 allows him to go knight c6. That's an idea as well. Yay! Thank you, Jude NYC. How's it going? Thank you for the 145 centuries. Haven't seen you lately. Haven't had time to get on your stream. So he played rook c7, and then queen b3. Simple and strong, defending the knight and preparing for bishop a3. Bishop f5, question mark. Black should try knight f5. Come on. Hmm. Although white retains a considerable advantage after bishop takes f4, followed by knight a5 to c6. Does look pretty good. Wait, okay, so... Um, let me just see if I can figure... So you're saying black has an advantage here? No. Oh, that's what you just said. No, white does. Oh, white. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I was about to say, I don't see how black has... Okay, cool. Yeah, knight a5 to c6 is the whole idea. Mm -hmm. So he plays bishop f5 instead? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Bishop takes f4. Laiko chooses a simple plan, which involves exploiting the e6 square. The complicated tactical shot 
knight f takes e5 x clam is probably even stronger, but sometimes it's better to play simply and safely. So the point is to play d6, I suppose. It's still pretty complicated. So you could like take, and if you take here attacking the queen, the queen will take, and then this is actually pinned. Wait, no, it's see. not pinned because this is still here. So yeah, what is the problem? He takes push, it's just obviously strong then. I think Lyco just didn't see it. <laughs> you know, he would play this if he saw it, knight takes e5. He's just playing positionally because he's Lyco, you know? Yeah, because this just looks too strong. Yeah, and the queen and the king, exactly what I was looking at too. I mean, I'm not gonna, if d6 is a fork and I have discovered attacks after, it's gonna work. <laughs> it's certainly gonna work. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe there are some like little tactical tricks that for black that Lyco was uh, afraid of. Already that, yeah. Doesn't seem like it. He's just playing positionally here. Takes. He took with the pawn. Bishop takes is impossible because knight c takes e5 is clear cut with d6 check coming next turn if you take with the, the pawn. Or if you take with the bishop, we'll just take and then same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. So Navarra took with the pawn to avoid that tactic. Yeah, Ben, ben Rigi thinks you're like, you're right, like I didn't consider that move. Yeah, in that position. Mm -hmm. Knight a5. White can now occupy both outposts. Yeah, that looks great. Mm -hmm, that looks nice. And he does. Thanks to the lateral pressure against d6, it's not easy for black to expel the rook with knight g7. The knight has to defend d6. So he goes here, doubles it up. White's pieces on e6 and c6 control so many squares, black can hardly move. <laughs> That's true. Yes. Um, Raj says, is that knight so good that it's worth an exchange that? I'd be trying to take here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Problem is, you know, down in exchange is, is going to lose. And there are also maybe some tactical issues like rookie 8 check after. Eh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Howdy, Ram 141. How's it going? Yeah, the knight is like an octopus knight, yes. Mm -hmm. Little little emote there. Oh, yeah, I need to, um, that reminds me, I need to answer C.L. Smith's whisper. Bishop f8? That's his emote. Mm -hmm. Always play bishop f8. Rook b7, queen d3. Rook a8, knight d2. And rook a8 looks good, huh? <laughs> he had to defend the pawn. Yeah. Followed by a5. Knight c4 to b6. Even more outposts for white in this variation, yeah. Outposts everywhere. <laughs> and not a drop to drink. <laughs> Classy joke there. It was. It's so educated. Yes, yes. You, you would have never guessed I didn't go to college. Rook <laughs> f6. A typical advantage of a rook outpost is the ability of the rook to exert pressure or move horizontally from the outpost. Rooks do move horizontally, I, I agree. They do. Double-headed octopus. Hmm. Once this guy gets in here, I guess. It'll be like that. <laughs> it's pretty crowded up there. Yeah. A little uncomfortable for black. There. And after g4, it's move 41, so he resigned. Black decided not to suffer anymore. After rook f4, followed by knight e4 to f6, that's white's plan. It would be over pretty soon in any case. And he's down a pawn, and he also has no legal moves. This can't move, and that can't move. Meanwhile, all of white's pieces look pretty, pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's a pawn up, of course. And also, like, black still has weaknesses, and his king is weak. Other than that, black is doing great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, the d5 pawn is worth its weight, huh? Protecting yeah. everything. Blocking this pawn, so this is bad. 
Mm -hmm. Really, the linchpin of the position. Also, look at all the stuff on white squares when he's got a dark square bishop, avoids all of it. He would love to go here, too, if only his opponent didn't resign. <laughs> <laughs> so, great game by Leiko, a classic Leiko game. He stopped all the counterplay, he outplayed his opponent positionally, and it was so bad the guy just resigned. Tough stuff. Mm -hmm. Just down a pawn, but it's unplayable position. Yeah, Black is stuck in his own camp there. Yeah. That's a good point. Even his pawns is. don't move past the third rank. Mm -hmm. All right, let's continue on to the next one, huh? Definitely. Keep it going. What are people saying? Anything? Where are our people today? There's not even anything that much going on. <clears throat> people should be flocking here after the disappointment of... <laughs> right, no title Tuesday. No title Tuesday. Maybe they're just so depressed. They're like, I don't want anything to do with chess today. <laughs> and Hikar Hikaru wasn't sure. He thought it might restart, which I guess it didn't. But he had a photo shoot, so he had to leave anyway. I was watching his stream when it, when it all went down. Yeah, those chess.com servers went down, and so the Title Tuesday had to be rescheduled for next week. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was like two or three rounds. Dr. Axmasisi. And then the servers went down. Classic chess.com. GM Canty tried to put a positive spin on it. <laughs> but all of the jaded chatters understood well <laughs> right. that it was done for the day. <laughs> <We're> like <laughs> Perhaps done forever. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> Love you, chess.com, but R.I.P. <laughs> then there, there, there ensued the usual argument over whether Lee Chess or chess.com is better. <laughs> Can't things just be different? <laughs> One has to be better than the other. I don't know. Well, I mean, yeah. All right, so here we go. This is Kazim Zhanov, who's a well-known grandmaster and also especially known for his theor theoretician. His, his play in the opening is, is well regarded. In fact, he uh, coaches Fabi, I believe. Kazim Janov? Yeah. I love that name. Rustam, yeah, Rustam Kazim Janov. Mm -hmm. I, I showed a game where Kazim Janov lost to Kasparov in some very theoretical Slav, semi Slav. Oh, I didn't know to say ago. Rustam. Yeah, that's his first yeah, name. Yeah, I've only ever seen it in print, so yay, now I know. I yeah, was, also. Uh, I was calling him Rustam in my head, <laughs> I just didn't know. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Rustam. No, I'm sure you're actually. probably right. You're probably right. I don't know who Black is here. Mega Ronto. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably not as good. Also, this is from the same event, the Dresden Olympiad in 2008. Hmm. A lot of outposts in that event, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> you go to Lee Chess when you want to feel better than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Some preparation is necessary before a potential outpost can be exploited. Here, White has a clear positional advantage thanks to his space advantage, but he must still make a, make progress. There's a potential outpost on d6, but for the moment it's controlled by Black's bishop. I'll also say that you know White's pawn structure is is probably better, although it, it's not necessarily clear. Um, obviously, both sides have have well, actually, both sides don't have the same number of pawn islands, right? White technically has two pawn islands, this being one, and a a a2, b5 being the other, mm -hmm. where black has three. But black has, or white rather, has a lot of weak pawns like this. And this is a backwards pawn too. And black has one weak pawn. So it's not really clear to me whose pawn structure is better. Mm -hmm. And both sides have weaknesses, you know. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Yeah, but white does have more space. And so that's good. Knight e4? Yay, Pam. You're here, so the I agree. That's all that matters. The one on B7? You mean the B7 is weak, maybe? That's potentially true, but, you know, it's kind of tough to attack that. It's kind of tough to... Well, maybe later, though. You could double up, like, the rooks. Assuming, like, the bishop's gone, you could get the rooks on here. And knight D6 and such. So that's, that's a potential target later in the game. Threatening to exchange bishops by bishop G5. A threat which black counters. H6. Yeah, don't want to trade these bishops. Definitely not. Then getting in on your dark squares. And my bishop's worse because I got pawns on dark squares. So white squares, white 
White's dark square bishop is worse than Black's dark square bishop, in general, at least. He's really trying to get in there with the knights, huh? The knight is on its way to c4 to step up the pressure on d6. Agreed. Queen g6. Now he puts a little pressure here so you can't move the knight without losing the other knight. Never play this. Now he can move the knight. Rook c d8. Knight c4. And knight b5 to protect. Yeah, because this is like, like I would say it's an outpost, you know, but not, not in Perry. Right? Because <laughs> it can't be attacked by a white pawn. So this is a pretty, and this one too. So mm. black's got some squares at least. That's a cha chamesy? It's almost like chimpanzee, but it's, you know, missing yeah. the P and the Hey, chamesy, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, you can talk to a kangaroo about posting a link. Sandy. Sandy, I'm not sure what you want to post, but if he thinks it's okay, it's fine with me. No, B2 is just a backwards pawn, Thaddeus, that's all. It just it can't be defended by an enemy pawn. Or a, I mean, it can't be protected by a friendly pawn. So you're gonna, you, if your opponent attacks it, you have to use pieces to defend it, which, which is not ideal. But it's not too weak, yeah. It can't really be attacked. It's much like the B7 pawn. They can't really be attacked yet, but maybe later. Oh, you just want to do chess.com. Yeah, I need, we need to fix it. That's a known issue. I just need to type that in as an exception. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting. If I had an email to me... <laughs> no, we get that complaint a lot that people want to type chess.com. So I do think we need to fix it. I just keep forgetting to do it. So here he says, Once again, black musters enough firepower to prevent a knight from jumping into d6. White also decides to prepare b4 followed by knight c5. White well, decides to prepare. I, he, he didn't write also. I just got confused there. Mm -hmm. C5 is an outpost for the knight, as it can't be expelled with a pawn because it got it defended. You know, can't yeah, do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, the pressure on e6 and b7 will force black to exchange on c5. By retaking with the b pawn, he'll increase his control of d6. Nice. Let's see how he does it. First he goes there, a little support, like the chess broad. White improves the position of his rook first, since black has no counterplay and can't improve his position. Black seems to agree because he's doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now white is ready to play b4. Rook b3. White cannot play knight b5, knight c5 now um, because of knight takes, b takes, and takes here. So there's a little, little pin action going on. Mm -hmm. So the vulnerable rook must first be moved to a safer square. Queen e2. The problem with knight c5 now, knight takes... And queen c2, winning material. Hmm. I was thinking rook before. Well, anyways, you wouldn't want to allow the guy in like this, right? Why would you allow this counterplay when you could just take the time to prevent it? Your opponent is moving their king back and forth. Right, that's true. Um, oh, when b6 is defended, you know the guy's good. <laughs> that's yes. probably true. Yes, so queen e2 preventing queen c2. Look at all of the preparation he's making to do the thing that he's planning to do for a long time now. Even this. White continues to take his time. These moves are directed against counterplay by h5, g4. Hey, you know what? It's after 5. So I wonder if maybe... Want me to open up Yeah, let's just unlock it real quick. All right, I can do I'm that. sorry to mean to interrupt. Be right back. I just realized it's like 5.06. I didn't notice either. Yeah, we were so deep into the chess. Hang on, guys. Sorry I interrupted but um, the chess club's open, and we should at least unlock the door. <laughs> if somebody comes in, I'll just tell them to hang on a minute that we're you know, streaming. Because we have to put a mask on to go out into the common area. Time to let the COVID in. <laughs> I guess we should keep this door open, right? Yeah, yeah, so we can hear it. I agree. And if somebody comes, we, we can tell them to hang on. I'm sorry, can you go back one move? Because I okay. spent 10 oh. seconds thinking about the time. I missed the last thing he said. 
There we go. So he played king h1. Okay. He's just uh, making his position really nice and tidy before he plays knight c5 and things actually happen. But uh, this is prepared. Uh, he might play some. So there's no pin. Yeah. There might be some pawn break here. So he's he's safening his king for that okay. potential. Because why not? So the guy's just playing mm -hmm. this. <laughs> and then knight c5. At last, white is ready to jump in. There's no way to defend d b7. Because Eric, here you take this. So he's got to trade him. See so how the weak b pawn, as Raj pointed out, uh, did actually come into uh, come into play here because he has to take. And now we can go into d6. And if you take, I'll get a protected pass pawn. Which is pretty nice, of course. Uh, the wife has turned a potential outpost at d6 into a real one and is ready to occupy it. Rook d5, also an outpost, kind of. Again, in his own territory. It doesn't count, I guess. Mm -hmm. And now bishop d8, question mark. Up to here, black has defended well by r recognizing that he had nothing better than waiting. But he now panics and allows white to take the vital b7 pawn, which leaves his remaining queenside pawns weak. He should continue to defend passively with rook b8, leaving white with the burden of finding a way to improve his position. One idea would be to transfer the rook to e4 and ultimately undertake some action on the king side. But it would still require a lot of work. Right? White would have to actually win the game. As opposed to here, now he's collected this. Now he's going to attack the knight with rook b8 and then take this, but he just moves back without being provoked. He mm -hmm. wants to do that anyway. And takes. Otherwise, black's a pawn down. But removing the a5 pawn gives white a route to penetrate into black's position. So first he goes queen e4, not related to that. Queen h5. If we trade him, the rook's trapped here, kind of funny. So we'll yeah, I think that's what Sandy's talking about, yeah. <laughs> but he actually got two pieces for a rook here. Yeah. However, this is hopeless for black. Now we can, like he was saying, we got rid of our a5 pawn, so now we can infiltrate on the a-file. Oops, didn't mean to do that, obviously. That'd be funny if that is the move, actually. Uh, rook a1, bishop d8. Yeah, that makes more sense. Rook takes a6. This is hopeless for black. He's going to take here and have all these passed pawns. Agreed. So queen e4 is a good move. You can't win material like it looks like because the pawns will be too strong. So he goes queen h5. Knight b5 x glam. Sacking the exchange. But now he's got a lot of problems. g4. A desperate looking move. If rook d7, queen c6, followed by knight e6, with three connected pass pawns in the center. That would be pretty good. Also, even this is falling. <laughs> Everything's falling apart mm -hmm. here. So he did this. Boom shakalaka. Kazim Zhanov's no joke. <laughs> Kazim Zhanov is no joke. He's going straight for the kill. Resigns. But too many threats around the Black King. It's completely impossible to defend. Really nice win there. He really crashed through the opponent's position by force. Because it looks like, okay, he just has good outposts. Like, what is he going to do? And then it's just tactic after tactic to complete the victory. Very nice. World champion. That's true. Yeah, he was world champion, mm. but it was FIDE world champion. Womp womp. Hey, C.L. Smith, I just saw your whisper last night, so I will send you a note shortly, and thank you for that. Um, I didn't check my whispers for a couple of days. I don't know about you guys. I get messages in all these different places. <laughs> like, WhatsApp. I get a lot of chess.com messages. Facebook and, such. and Twitter and over Twitch and over Discord. And so sometimes in text, I sometimes don't see them. Anyway, I will get back with you. 
people in the chat were a little concerned about the move rook d5 looking like it traps the rook. That's true, but the reason that black played this, and it's certainly the right move, is that knight d6 is going to shut out the rook. So rook d5 makes it so at least the rook is still putting pressure here. So you can't, like after you play knight d6, you can't move your rook and bishop away because I'm going to take your pawn. So it's, it's vital for black to keep some pressure on, on white's position. Black's already passive enough, so you can't just... Like, imagine the rook is here, then we can move these guys around and create even more problems for black. So it's it's important for black to put a little pressure on this backwards pawn. But it hardly mattered, because the knight is just so so strong. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that is pretty an, an unusual move, you know, to allow yourself mm -hmm. to... Get no, trapped like yeah, that, kind of? Yeah, on yeah. purpose. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Rook d5 is so cringe. I don't think kangaroo would like you saying the word cringe like that. <laughs> I think it was kangaroo who didn't like that. Cringe? Yeah. The word cringe? Why? Well, um, they're using it as an adjective when it's actually a verb. Oh, I see. But it's like on purpose because mm -hmm. that's what people on the internet do. They'll say something wrong on purpose because it's funny. It's a little funny. Usually um, <laughs> people say cringy, but then I think it's just gotten shortened to cringe. So right. it's kind of become an adjective in a way. I, don't I guess. Know. It may not be in the dictionary yet. Oh, it will be, though. <laughs> Rook d5 is wholesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. All right, um, so what do you think? Maybe maybe you can play some games <laughs> okay. so I can, uh, I can bounce if necessary. Yeah, whispering with Ken West, not as sexy as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ken West might beg to, di to differ. <laughs> right. It might be sexy for him. <laughs> All right, so send Karen a challenge, five-minute yeah. or three-minute, rated or unrated. Yeah, this is going to be a shorter stream um, mm -hmm. tonight. Too bad we only got to look at one section, but yeah, uh, that's just the way it is. Well, it does. <laughs> well, we were running late because I was um, setting up for Ben's stream tonight, which I'm still not done with. <laughs> oh, the goat himself. The goat. Yay. Cringe is the 2019 version of Sag. That's not, Sag is different. Sag is when you're sad. The internet has destroyed English. They cer it certainly bastardized it. Speaking of it, destroyed English. <laughs> Kind of like black here, huh? More space, why not? As much as I usually hate that bishop, I I think I will decline. The your... exchange? Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking it. Taking on game. H3, I'd, I'd just <laughs> leave the room if you did that. <laughs> Yeah, I think I will come on out there. Whoa. Whoa, what? Try to figure out whose turn it is first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, it worked out, though. That's true. <laughs> That's true. What was that noise? That's my phone. Darn, that was terrible. I got all confused. I might get this piece, so let me see. Yeah, he got one. <laughs> Some one. might call it a trade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, what about right here? Oh, this guy. Go, Karen. Uh, obviously, I'm tired. I don't get naps like some people. <laughs> Maybe if you were a grandmaster. <laughs> I don't get to nap like the grandmaster. Uh, but, um... You can see you're eyeballing that outpost, huh? I am eyeballing that <laughs> Just like we oh, learned man, in the book. It. Oh, that had been hanging for a while. Come I on. You can't worry about that now. <laughs> <laughs> the go Karen. Look at all this comp for a pawn. Hey. Scottish demon goat wishes he had black here so he could be a pawn down. Um, so you're you're playing the psychological game. Yeah. Let me bring it up. Oh, it sounds like somebody walked down in. 
Want me to go check it out? Let me go um, check it out. Yeah, I thought that was um, Archer's video game. But, um, I don't know, it sounded like the door to me. It sounded mm. like Jim Morrison. Darn. I guess somebody is here. <laughs> this is the end, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, John is home, I wrote. Or I'm going to resign. That makes me so mad. Uh, sorry, I just, I was a little bit distracted, but that's not a good excuse. <laughs> well, the music's next door. You can hear the music. Um, I think that's the dance club music. There's a, or dance studio, not dance club. <laughs> dance, where you take dance lessons next door. Um... GG uh, Demon Goat. Sorry, that was a terrible game. <laughs> oh, when the music's over. Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> um, who has better puns, the chat or Ben? Ben. <laughs> um, oh, is the Doors playing? That might be some of our music then. I think we were uh, singing it earlier. <laughs> anyway, well, let me see what we should do. I wonder if we should play one more or if we should end the stream. It's 520. Um, seems like we only did an hour stream today. It's not very good. Some puzzle rush? Oh, I'm the worst at puzzle rush. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm not doing puzzle rush. I, I mean, like, an I probably don't even practice it the right way. If I do it, uh, my best is 24. And for a really, really long time, it was my best was 23. So it's um, 24 truly is my best right now. <laughs> so I don't know, it's not very good at it. In five minutes, I don't, I've never played survival mode, but maybe uh, once. Um, I played Twitchy, I think. Oh, you do the training with survival? Maybe I should try it more. I played Twitchy one time. I've just never played that mode. Um, oh, it's no stress. I thought survival, aren't you playing another person? That seems more stressful than just playing yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how to play it. I played it a while back. But I always just do the five minute. Oh, you're solo, no clock. Oh, I see. Do the puzzle rush in the morning. Oh, puzzle battle. You're right. I'm confused. I was thinking of puzzle battle. I haven't done survival. Oh, it's all the easy puzzles. Oh, well, maybe I should do that. <laughs> do it right now? <laughs> I mean, it probably won't look right in this layout. Let me see. All right, let me try this. Puzzles. I have a layout. Oh, maybe. Um... It's kind of cut off. Let me get on a different layout. I haven't used the other one in so long. Uh, it's probably got the old webcam. No, it's got the same webcam. Um...
You just subbed and nothing happened, Pam? All right, let me just fix my, let me just fix this scene real quick. All right, I was trying to figure out whether I should, yeah, why not? It won't take me but a second. All right, let me, yeah, I can't imagine that I'm going to be good at this at all. You guys will laugh at me. <laughs> hey, they were wanting me to do, um, try this puzzle. Puzzle rush? Puzzle is survival. Let me see survival. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is good. I've never done it. It just means that you won't, uh, you don't run out of time, right? Um... Like there's no, it's no time limit. It's just till you. Well, they said it was easy puzzles too. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let me just fix. Well, anyways, I'll get set up for my lessons. So yeah, that's fine. Anyway. Okay, that makes sense. You want this door open or closed? You can leave it open. Is there anybody that needs tending to at the no, moment? It's Tyler and Joe. Okay, so just tell Tyler, you know, to man, yeah, man yeah. the front. I'm just joking, but <laughs> I'm, I'm busy. Yeah. Okay, okay. so right, I'll keep streaming a little bit. Let me try this out. Don't die on you. <laughs> Oh, they do start easy and get harder. Um, all right, well, let me see. Let me just fix the layout real quick. Hey, buddy. I'm still streaming. So you got to go find another room. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess I might have to shut the door. They're being so loud up there. The customers. <laughs> There's just one customer. He's a regular. Um, thank you. Hey, that sub came through now. Pan oh, you just tried it again. I thought maybe that was the original one. Is there anything? I guess that's all I need. Do I need um, to see anything like on the right? Let me just click it real quick. I, mean, I haven't done it before. Is it like Puzzle Rush? It's on Puzzle Rush. Oh, the time. Should I make it so we can see the time? Seems like that's important. <laughs> all right, let me just... Um, all right, let me just... Darn, this has gotten too involved. <laughs> all right, let me just... I can do it. I got it. Let me just do a window capture. Hang on, guys. Um... Capture, let's see, clock. Um, I guess that's fine. Oh, hang on a second. I'm just trying to fix this real quick. I apologize. Mm -hmm. I don't think you guys care. I got it almost. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put it over here. I make it a little bit bigger for the old folks that can't see shit. Here we go. Let's put it over here. All right, that works. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. <laughs> All right, let me just lock my widgets, and then I wish the guys would not be so loud up front, but can't exactly tell the customers to pipe down. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, quit. Okay, so what, so I don't, you said there was no time, Bonarici. Oh, I'm in rush. Darn it, I was doing the wrong goddamn thing the whole time. How do we get out of here? Play. So dumb. Where is the Surf where is survival? I didn't. I, <laughs> where do I go? To, I didn't even see that as an option. I just like, did the whole work for no reason, because I'm not the prize. Are right, puzzles? Puzzle rush? Puzzle battle? Solo chess? No puzzle battle. Who can tell me where I need to go? Um. Puzzles. 
Puzzle survival. Puzzle rush is the third option. Puzzles. Puzzle battle. I thought I was doing survival. Something else. Pick survival. Uh, where do I pick survival? <laughs> I go to puzzle rush. For, okay. <laughs> Puzzles. Puzzle rush. Okay. Pick the right goddamn thing. <laughs> hey, Fortuna Chess. How's it going? I don't see survival. All right. I'm in puzzle rush. Oh, there it is. I do see it. Darn. Oh, good. I think it's still going to work, though. Hey, it's the same layout. <laughs> Oh, so there's no clock, so I went to all that. Okay, that's fine. At least it's working now. Um, so I just solved the puzzle. How do you win or lose? Uh, no time. What, I mean, oh, that won't let me go. Oh, black to move. How do you win or lose? Oh, you just do it, miss three times. Oh, you miss three times, it's over, because okay, so you can lose. Okay. Um, black to move. Let me see. I'm so bad at puzzles, too. Here. All right. I thought they were tricking me. <laughs> you like doing these? I've never done this. Um, <laughs> all right, black to move. Oh, uh, let's see. It looks like up here. Okay, well, they, these aren't hard yet. All right, white to move. But you said they get harder. Somebody said they get harder. Black to move. Let me see. How about this one? Oh, I think it's in. Yeah. All right, back to move. I think somebody else just came in. Yay, Byron Salad. Thank you for that sub. Thank you so much. Now let me see. Black to move. Um, well, this is fun to try something new. Thank you, Bonarici, for um, suggesting this. I get kind of stuck with just doing the same old stuff. Now, let me see. This one's a little more challenging for me. Let's see. Oh, this is it. Not too bad. Okay, black to move. Mm. Black to move. Let's see. Hmm. I guess. Yay, I got a few. <laughs> I'm so slow though, obviously. Now let's see. Uh, okay, there. See this one. Okay, how's it going? Hey. I don't know, but I'm not going to give up yet. I don't know what this one is. I mean, I see that I have a check. And if I move, if I go night F2, I don't really see anything beyond that. Well, I guess he can't. I guess. Well, I can't draw. He can just move his rook. 
Let me see. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I'm going to have to take a little guess. But then he's just going to move. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I was thinking bishop f2 check. Well, then he can just go king e2 or king d1. I can't visualize anything. And then my knight's hanging. So, let me show. Oh, I see it. Maybe. Oh, I do see it. <laughs> There'll be a knight fork. Man. I can't. <laughs> That's hard for me to visualize. I mean, I had to like really think about it. Okay, but I did it. <laughs> I know, I always look for fork town. I just, it's not, it's not that hard once I'm done. I just, that, I can't visualize worth shit. It's very frustrating. All right. Uh, okay, here. Mm, let's see here. Yay. Okay, wait to move. Let me just go back here. I think he's got a block. I see. I don't know what to do. Queen C8 check, but then he can just block. With uh, the bishop, but then, like, what happens if I take on the b pawn? Uh, I don't think he can save the rook. I see. Let me see about it. Yay! I got it. <laughs> All right, so I can't look at the chat too much. Like once I start a, a new one, because you guys get it faster than me. So I apologize for ignoring you, but I just want to, you know, do the puzzles. So let's see. Uh, um, hmm. Can go. Yeah, these are fun. Thank you, Bonarici. That's a good idea. <laughs> there. Is that a mate? That might be a mate. Here. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I think I see this one. This was similar to that other one that I couldn't see. This is, was easier, it was less crowded. So it's easier for me to find the fork. Let's see here. Check. Okay, I see this one. Oh no, there's a pin. I thought I was going to... I didn't see the pin. Oh yeah, I can just do this. Oh no, I can't. Oh yeah, because then I'll have my own pen. <laughs> Arguing with myself. Oh yeah, so no. Oh yeah, because then I'll have a pen. So my pen wins. <laughs> Darn. Okay.
okay, so so I'm doing pretty well. I mean, but I'm just slow. I got all, all 15. Let's see. White to move. I haven't hit any super hard ones yet. This is the rook sacking one. I'm going to do that one. Got that one. Black to move. Let's see. Hmm. Black to move. I'm not sure about it. Maybe I can promote. Hmm. Let's see. Yay. Okay, black to move. When I get the answer, before I click to start the next one, then I'll check chat for a second. I have to get the answer first. So let's see, black to move. Oh, right there. Check. Oh yeah, there's a pen. So you can. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. <coughs> I'm feeling confused. So I can't look at chat. This chat knows it, I'm sure. Um let's see if I check. Well, is that May? No. Oh yeah. Maybe. <laughs> because the night can't take my... Um, maybe. Yay. Darn. That was so bad. It took me long to see that was a mate. <laughs> and I forgot to look at chat. So I still can't look at chat. White to move. Um, this feels like I could be here a while. They, they got to start getting... They're starting to get a little harder. Um, hmm, let's see. Okay, so if I check with the night, that's one idea. I don't know what to do here. All right, if I check with the night, then king goes king h8. Mm. This is wrong. I just take the rook. Now I get my rook. <clears throat> so I don't know about it. Darn, this one's hard. I was just complaining they had to get harder. This one seems harder to me. I don't know this one. I feel like I can't get it. 
All right, I'm not gonna look though. I'm not gonna look at you. Yet. Okay, let me try again. Okay, Nadi. All right, what if I take the rook with the knight? This just is too hard for me to calculate. Okay, if I take their rook, um, maybe they take my rook. Then I take their knight, and they take my knight. Maybe it's their rook. Okay, so then I don't really have a lot left. <laughs> a queen, and my king's kind of running around down there. I don't think the queen can do anything. Though. They got the other bishop up there. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. Mm. This seems hard. Oh wait, oh no, that won't work. All right, I'm just gonna have to guess the first move. I don't know the answer. I do not know the answer. Okay, that was right. <laughs> um. Oh, that's mate. <laughs> God damn. Somebody donated <laughs> right when I um, couldn't see the mate. Um, thank you for the donation. NXIA618. <laughs> Obviously, I need to invest in some more chess lessons. Now, let me see. Um, I guess I can get rid of this time thing since I didn't even need that. There we go. All right, let me look at the next one. Hey, I haven't missed any. <laughs> so, not, you know, I'm slow, but, uh, you know, I can see stuff eventually. <laughs> That's why I do so much better in a long game, uh, game time control. When we were at the World Open, I was just so in my element. All of my games were like five-hour games. I was just, you know, playing chess all day. It was wonderful. Lots of time. I like fast, too, even though I'm no good at it. Now, let me see. I think I see this one. Uh, this is classic Take Your Queen. And then just move, but where? What difference does it make? Like if I move to king f8, or if I go king d8, seems like one is better than the other. Oh, I see. King d8, I would get skewered. Oh, that would be bad. Okay, let me go the other way. <laughs> Yay. I got it. sure about this. Let's see. I was thinking to put my rook on the E file, but and then I was worried about like if they get a knight g5 check. <sighs> so let me see. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem though. Oh yeah, that is what I should do maybe. I don't think it's a problem. Yeah. I think I just... 
Uh, we have to take care first. Yeah. Yay, I got another one. Mm -hmm. This is fun. Sorry, though, I can't talk to you guys at all. <laughs> now, let me see. If I take the queen, it doesn't really seem to do much for me. Oh, I see what I could do. If I check with, oh no, that, oh maybe. Oh, if I check with the pawn, then I might get the queen. I need to start phrasing things in a more authoritative manner. Then I might have this or what I'm just um, wrong sometimes. <laughs> so I like to cover my bases. Black to move. Let's see. I think that was just a skewer. Something else. Yay, I got it. Okay. White to move. Um, I see, I didn't mistake with the pawn. I don't see anything else. Hmm. Uh-oh. I missed one. <laughs> Darn. All right, well, I had to miss one eventually. All right, black to move. Oh, this is that same puzzle that I just had, essentially. Okay, why to move? Let's see. I guess I take the night. Okay, that one is pretty standard. I just thought maybe there was some kind of trick I wasn't seeing. All right, um, hmm. Man, this could go on for a while. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'll start missing more. I have to go faster too, let's see. All right, so I could take the rook. But then, it's not really back rank right mate. I just can't get to check in. Thank you for the uh, apple side for the um, 250 centidues. <laughs> okay, so if I take the rook, which is what I want to do because I like to take pieces. <laughs> Um, I mean, they don't have mate on b2, but most if they go queen f2, no, queen f1, then I have to go king c2. That shouldn't be a problem, is it? Okay, I don't see a reason not to take it. No, let's see. I didn't go. Um, King B3, I get checked by the queen. Let's see. I think I actually 
Darn. We'll have to look at that at the end. I just wasn't sure. Okay, black to move. Um, hey, VZDJ88. How's it going? <laughs> I have, still have a lot of viewers. People like to watch others struggle with their chess, I think. <laughs> they feel better immediately. All right, so I have a night check. And then... If I open up the H file with the rook, I believe I can get get in that way. Let's see. Pretty sure. I think this is a kind of a standard mating pattern. I don't know the name of it though. If anybody knows, um, before I take, does anybody know the name of this um, mating pattern? Because once I click. To go to the next one, then I can't look again. <laughs> what number am I up to? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> 25. I have 25. That's the Anastasia. Darn. This is the first time I've done this. So I'm sorry that I didn't have the number there. Um, I just made the scene on the fly. <laughs> that, I do that sometimes. I'm also tensor extension. Is I sometimes listen to people. All right, before I end this particular, before I take the bishop, and then I think they're going to give me another puzzle. We're almost done, though. I guess for next time I'll have the number there because I think I'm going to end the stream uh, soon just because the chess club's open. But um, So you guys think this one might be Anastasia? Oh, yeah. Okay, another block. Okay, so now I have 26. And I'll fix my scene for the next one. Yeah, this was fun. I, I, all I have to do is miss one more, which I don't want to, obviously. And then I, I lose, I guess. Okay, so white to move. I'm not looking at chat again. I've got 26. Can she do it? Get another one correct. Let's find out. Let's see, so I'm about to get mated here. Um, so maybe, sack, maybe take the bishop. It seems like my only hope. Yeah, let me do that. I gotta do it. Yeah, and then. I have a few moves. Maybe queen e4 check. I uh, just want to make sure he doesn't run out. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see. Okay. Alright, so I have 27 and. I've missed two so far. So next time, again, I'll have my scene fixed. It'll be beautiful, etc. Let's see, I have a fork. And I have, like, um, also this knight just hanging out there. So maybe I'll take that first. And then I'll go here. And then I'll do it. Okay, yay. So I got it right. That was 28. We'll just keep going. Um, hmm. Hopefully nobody's up front needing my attention. <laughs> the chess club. I am the owner, though. It's not like I can, I'm going to get fired. But I love my people, love my chess people. Don't want them to, to have to wait. Now let's see. This one's hard for me. Oh wait, there's a hanging piece. <laughs> That's not hard. Make sure that there's no other threat that I'm ignoring. 
All right, let me. Ah, that was wrong. All right, well, I knew it was too good to be true. All right, let's see what was. Let's see. I bet you guys know what it. I thought about doubling. I thought maybe that was a little too slow. They had some, something like um, attacking me on the e-file, but I don't really see anything. Actually, hmm. Oh, is that made? If I go queen e8, no, because then it can go. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I didn't see it immediately. You thought that was okay, prophylaxis? Yeah, that's the first time I've done done the um, uh, survival. So that was kind of fun. Yeah, I didn't see the mate at first, Max. That's why I, I probably do need to just do these constantly. And um, I've done kind of something similar to this. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Bone Richie. I just so, so busy. You yeah, have got two kids, a husband. A chess club, streaming, and um, my my dad was very ill until recently, so just life is busy. But um, I know everybody has their excuses for why they don't do puzzles, and and I'm also one of those um, that come up with excuses. <laughs> Three kids, that's right. <laughs> just do yeah, I'll just do it on stream. I agree. I'll start doing it. <laughs> No time to even read. Well, I'm glad you like the content, Treshawn01. <laughs> now, let me look at this other one that we missed, or I, two others that I missed. Let me see. Before we end the stream, let me see what. Oh, yeah, I took. Is this the one where I took the rook? Let's see. No, because taking the rook. Oh, no, I did this part right. Oh, I should have gone there. Oh, I have a block. Well, I was worried, um, yeah, about queen b5, but yeah, I can just block that. All right, well, I didn't see that. <laughs> you hope I make friends with Spensinator again? Hey, working class hero. <laughs> well, he was here earlier. You just missed him. He's teaching a lesson right now at the chess club. Um, let's see, one more. Let's see why I missed this one. It's, I like, it's got the rating. This one's 1300, okay. Let's see. I don't even remember what I did. Does anybody, does anybody remember? I don't even remember what I did. Let's see, I didn't do that first move. Seems like I just took, oh, I took with the pawn. Why can't I just take with the pawn? Uh, and then it's a draw, and then the black's slightly better. All right, well, I guess I had something better was the bottom line. No, cancel. Wait, it won't let me out of here. Um, wait, let me look at it one more time. Sorry. Okay, so take the, okay. Okay, so take advantage of the check. I just didn't calculate that correctly. All right, guys, I think I am going to go ahead and end. Yeah, the night was hanging. I forget to, to look at checks and how that factors in, too. Um, yeah, my night was hanging. Yeah. yeah, I didn't realize I didn't remember what I did at first. Anyway, guys, oh, Tensor Extension says, have you ever done viewer game analysis 
Um, would you ever look at a game? Famous game analysis on my own. I, you know, I could do it with a lot of help from chat. <laughs> you know, usually I, I just um, rely on Spencer. He's great, you know, because he's master level teach me. But I think it is a good exercise to use the tools and to try to figure out stuff on your own because it really forces you to do it if you don't have somebody just feeding you the information. Hey, Empty Weirdo, how's it going? Yeah, Spencer does know already. <laughs> Most of the time. Sometimes he gets confused, but yeah, he usually knows. Um, but um, I wouldn't run out of time doing analysis. That's true. <laughs> All right, guys. I enjoyed the stream, and I enjoyed it, the fact that I did some different things. So thanks again for that good suggestion, Bonarici. And let me figure out who I can raid real quick. Um, I would keep going because I'm having so much fun, but the chess club's open, and we have a tournament tonight. And we have to get ready for it. So I'm going to go up front, set the clots, etc. I might even play over the board myself. Depends if I'm needed to make it even. So who do we have streaming here? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Thank you, Alan Buchanan. I um, love all you guys. I mean it. I enjoy streaming. I hope you enjoy the channel. We are going to raid one of my favorites. The one and only shall be surprise. And um, Ben is streaming tonight. Lesson with Pacman. Tune in. He starts at eight. Lesson starts at eight forty-five. I will be streaming tomorrow around four or so. See you guys. Bye.